guys, Randy Cavanaugh from the Armor Garage here, and welcome to part one of my vlog on my Wolverine build. So this costume is going to be built mostly out of EVA foam, but with totally custom templates. Uh, not really using pep in the traditional sense on this one. Um, I wanted to do my own custom Wolverine design, and it's kind of a uh, hodgepodge of a couple different uh, Wolverine concepts. Uh, and heavily inspired by um, Batman's armor from Arkham Knight Origins. So here's one half of the chest armor template I came up with. I only need one half as I can just flip the pieces over to trace out the other side. Uh, so the method I'll be using is to cut out these pieces on EVA foam uh, using the templates and then heat and shape them into the forms that, I'll, that I want. Uh, I'll be using a variety of techniques to get the shapes uh, but I'll get to that in just a minute. First I want to go over how I came up with the chest templates. So I found this statue by Nika that I just loved and I thought it would be perfect for the armor templates for my Wolverine costume. So what I did was I downloaded a bunch of high resolution images of the statue and then started a new project in, in Photoshop. Uh, so I loaded in uh, the front image and the back image and then all I did was essentially trace the parts over top. So you can see I've set them up on separate layers here. Uh, so I've got the pelvis and uh, the chest and all those, all those pieces. Um, and then what I did was turned off those and saved it as an image. And then loaded that up inside 3D Studio Max. And so what I did was essentially traced out with splines. Uh, if I move this set of armor over, you can kind of see. So essentially creating a set of splines around the basic shape. And then um, I stretched things out a little bit to account for um, the shape of the armor and uh, how it'll flex and bend. Uh, and then all I did was... Um, essentially convert that to an edit poly which I could then load inside of Armorsmith to create the patterns that I'll use for, for tracing out the, uh, the armor. So yeah, I then cut them out and was left with a bunch of these little armor pieces that I'm ready to shape and form. Uh, so if you want any more details on that process, drop me a message in the comments and maybe I can do a future video going into the process a little bit more in depth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is for each piece, uh, I'm going to use my Dremel uh, with this little drill bit here. Uh, this little cylindrical Dremel bit uh, I use to give myself nice rounded bevels on all the edges. Uh, this helps to give it a nice rounded look. Uh, always make sure uh, to use safety goggles and a respirator when doing anything like this with the, uh, the foam and the Dremel. Because A, you don't want any uh, bits of foam flying up into your eyes, and B, you really don't want to be breathing this stuff in. So, got my goggles here. Throw on the, uh, throw on the handy dandy respirator. Alright, so now that the edges are all nice and round, uh, what I'm going to do is hit it with a heat gun. And once the foam is hot, I'll just kind of bend and shape it into the forms that I want. Uh, the heat makes the foam more malleable, as well as sealing it, which closes up any little pores and gives it a nice glossy look.
Okay, so I'm just going to keep working my way through the chest and we'll see what it looks like uh, when we're all finished up. Alright, so this is all the progress I made this week. I'm pretty happy with how everything's shaping up so far. Uh, I really hope I can get this armor finished by the end of the month. We'll see if I can stay on track. Um, so far, the only big thing that uh, I'd like to change is on the shoulders here. I'd like to kind of bring right here kind of more to a point to feel a little bit more Wolverine-like. And let's see, the, the chest needs a little bit of an adjustment. The curves don't quite match up there, but uh, can clean that up later. So yeah, uh, overall pretty happy with the results. Alright, I think that's where we'll wrap it up for this week's vlog. Uh, if you want to check out some of my other projects, you can check out my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash the armor garage. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.